What up, guys? It's Chris. And uh, we're back trying to pre our way through quarantine here. Um, I have kind of a new project in Unreal Engine. I wanted to show you guys and uh, show you guys some of the strengths and weaknesses of it. Um, I wanted to make it as close to a real production setup as possible. Um, just like we would have used in live events when those were a thing. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a one-man operation and not a production company and don't have access to a ton of gear. Um, so I am doing a little bit of a workaround for some of the gear. But for the most part, this works out pretty well. Um, so I'll just explain my setup real quick. I am using three computers at the moment. Um, two towers and one laptop. Um, the laptop is driving MA. That's acting like the console in this situation. Um, that has two USB to Cat5s on it. One's for Artnet, one's for MANet. Um, this, the scene that I'm building in Unreal uh, listens to Artnet as opposed to streaming ACN or, or anything. Um, so yeah, so that's why I have the two uh, adapters there. Um, there's a couple things on each network. Uh, I do have an MA node that's allowing me to output uh, two universes of DMX, and I am using, I think, all but five channels of the 1024. So the node is allowing me to actually output Artnet to the Unreal Tower and to the Wrestling Tower. Um, the Resolume Tower has an HDMI output going into a decimator, uh, converting it to SDI. That SDI is going into the Blackmagic Decklink Duo card that I have on my Unreal Tower as one of the video inputs. Um, when we go to Unreal, you can see the scene. I have one upstage wall. It's pretty simple, just one square 1920 output. Um, that's going into Decklink 2. And the other input we have going into Unreal is from the MA laptop. There's an HDMI coming out of the laptop. Again, going into a decimator to convert it to SDI. We're going into Decklink 1 there. Um, so those are our two inputs. And I'll, I'll show you the settings and how I have everything set up in Unreal once we get there. And then we have one output from a camera in Unreal Engine back to our Resolume machine. I have a Blackmagic Mini recorder uh, in the Resolume machine. That has an SDI connection. I can just go uh, straight SDI from the deck link card to the Blackmagic Mini Recorder with no decimator in between. So now that we're on Unreal, we can kind of take a look at our scene uh, and look at the two video inputs, the one video output, and a couple of the lighting fixtures. Um, so first, we'll kind of start off with the stage here. Just have like a simple goal post with a couple of mega points around it, a couple of GOP impressions, a couple more mega points around the stage, some little Chave Strike 4 type things, um, and some GLP X420 bars. Um, yeah, not the craziest setup in the world. A couple lights. Uh, the, the it does take up two universes pretty quick. We also do have uh, one layer of Resolume patched. Uh, so upstage, you can see our LED wall. At front of house, you can see our monitor with the uh, live input from our MA laptop. You can see here I'm changing some things um, and just scrolling through some different menus. This is pretty uh, impractical, but kind of awesome if you ask me. That's the only reason why I did it. So, yeah. Uh, let's take a look at our settings for our video inputs now. So I'm going to start off down here with our Resolume wall. Um, as mentioned in the uh, layout drawing, the, the uh, Illustrator drawing, the Resolume is coming into Blackmagic uh, Decklink Duo number 2, uh, 1080 at 30 FPS. Um, it's important to note that since we are using Blackmagic card as an input, the is sRGB input is checked or else your colors will look all grayed out and funky. Um, so pretty much the same settings for the MA tech table input um, except this is Decklink Duo 1 and the laptop that I have is outputting 60 FPS as opposed to 30. 
the <clears throat> the output is uh, a little different. Um, so I created a Blackmagic Media output. I told it what deck link to use. Deck link three is 1080. We want to output 1080p uh, at 30. The pixel format is 10-bit. Uh, I'm not 100% sure why it didn't work at 8, but it works at 10. So, yeah, after we have that set up, we will drop in a camera. This is my... What is it? G? G? So this is our my camera here, my iMag camera. You can see it uh, named in the corner. Um, so you have to create a media output, and a you have to put a camera somewhere. Uh, if we come down to Window, Developer Tools, Media Capture, it'll bring up a window down here. You can see I have it all set up already. Um, all you have to do is pick your camera, which we have chosen my iMag camera. We have chosen our media output, which is my Blackmagic media output. Uh, and all you have to do is hit Capture. If this is green, you're good. If it's red, uh, you're not good. Um, so it was red for me at the beginning uh, when I was on 8-bit. I changed it to 10-bit and it was green. So yeah. So that should take care of our uh, video inputs and outputs into this scene. Um, I'll just quickly talk about the DMX input. Um, so I'm using a plugin called Carbon for Unreal, um, which is pretty epic so far. Um, again, I mentioned I was using ArtNet coming from my MA laptop. You can see the ArtNet connection here is um, 10.0.11. That's just the, I, the ArtNet IP address of my Unreal Tower. So that should kind of explain how the data is coming in and out of Unreal. Um, let's go take a look at our patch in MA and our uh, patch and settings in Resolum. So now that we're in MA, let's take a quick look at our patch. Um, if we look at our patch, you can see that we have some fixtures starting at 1, going into Universe 2, and then we have our Resolume patched right at the end of Universe 2. Um, so we have Layer 1 patched at uh, 2.464, and we have our Composition uh, patched at 2.437. And that'll be important to remember when we're setting up our ArtNet information in Resolume. All right, now that we're in Resolume, I will uh, go through just a couple settings here. So if we go to Arena Preferences, um, we can see our DMX settings. And we have uh, one DMX input, one ArtNet input. Uh, the universe is one, which is really two because in ArtNet world, zero is one. It's silly, but that's the way it is. Um, and the channel offset is four, three, six. Uh, because if you remember in MA, our patch was 2.437 for the composition, which you can see right here. Do have the DMX auto map on. I know I'm a couple gears behind sticking with DMX, uh, sorry, sticking with uh, Resolume 5. But I, I do kind of enjoy the DMX auto map, and I'm really not willing to give that up just yet. So that should be in here. Um, if we go to our advanced output, um, it's nothing too crazy. We have slice one, which is going to be our whole rectangle here. And that is going to be layer one and only layer one. Slice two is going to be this little sliver in the middle here, which is uh, going to be our iMag. And that is only layer two. Um, and you can see our screen is display too. So right now, um, I have the my test my test pattern up on layer one in the background, and I have my Black Magic Mini Recorder, which if you are unfamiliar, you grab in your sources uh, and you just drag it in here. And then I have selected uh, the connection from. Uh, to SDI and set it at 1080p at 30, which if you remember what we set up in our media output was um, this format here. So you can see right now, I don't have anything coming in on this layer. That's because nothing's being captured in Unreal. But if I click this button, we should get, yep, there it is. We should get the uh, output 
of the Cine camera that we have put in Unreal. Um, if we go back to our output now, we can see kind of how it's being broken up here. And that could be desirable, could not be desirable for your previs projects. All right, so we're back in Unreal. And uh, I just want to show you guys what everything kind of looks like compiled together. Uh, this is by no means the finished product, but this is just kind of what everything looks like going together. So let's start by, I'm going to turn my works off, my work lights off. So we're just going to uncheck these, make these not visible during the rendering. We'll hit G to get all that out of there. And um, let's hit play. Let's just refresh our ArtNet connection to make sure. And it looks like some ArtNet there. Looks like some stuff. Let's see if some video pops up in a minute. That'll be the real test. And cool. So that's it. That's the idea. And uh, let's take a look at the iMag. That's it. That's what everything uh, will kind of eventually look like. Now, it, it is interesting that it doesn't look like the camera is actually rendering what's actually happening in real time, which is odd. But um, that's just another challenge to figure out down the road. Um, I hope this was interesting for anyone who was trying to, you know, upgrade their previs game or who might have been a VJ or a media server operator in a past life. Um, yeah, hope this video was interesting. I'm going to keep digging in Unreal. Uh, I know this doesn't look fabulous, but I only have a 2070 Super and it is uh, kind of sweating running this at the moment. I don't think I'm much over 20 fps which is kind of a bummer um but yeah just wanna wanna keep uh keep pushing and keep creating